Jeter. Get to Jeter and tell me when. What what's Jeter's highest, highest voting for MVP? Yeah, what's the highest he's ever got? He's always had a superstar next to him. Always. All right. So overrated. I I don't equate it to overrated. Like if we, great rebound. Like if like we how many times he finished in MVP? Top ball? five. Top five. Get, do you have that number? Do we have that? He finished in uh, top three MVP voting three times. Three times. A Rod's won three. This motherfucker finished top three three times. A Rod's won three. A Rod's year with the Rangers was so good. His team was so bad. We're like, we got to give it to A Rod. For a while, A Rod was shit in the playoffs. He had to overcome. He didn't perform in the playoffs for three, four years. Great regular season. He struggled postseason. A lot of players do. David Eckstein won a World Series MVP. Kershaw. The worst. And he's the best lefty we've seen in our era. Well, second. But Randy Johnson. Yeah. But so in our era, at least since we've been alive, that we were able to watch, Kershaw was the second best lefty of all uh, in our era. And he he was terrible in the playoffs. So this game's over. Yeah, it's over. And A-Rod's, A-Rod's a, a hitter. Not this game. This series is This series over. is over. So 14 All-Stars apiece. Jeter has five titles. He has one World Series MVP. And one. Got crushed. He has five World, uh, five World Series titles, one World Series MVP. But the numbers that get me are all the other ones. 2,000 RBIs. Jeter had 1,300. <laughs> 1300. But you're, com you're comparing, you're comparing a, a dude who has outstanding numbers. No one's saying A Rod doesn't have incredible numbers. Better than Jeter. But that doesn't make Jeter overrated. He's rated better than A Rod. No, I didn't say that. He makes for me. I, I wonder he, if you put like like a list. If someone had a list of like top 10 players, he's on it. On every fucking list, he's on it. I wouldn't take him. Uh, I, if I'm picking a starting shortstop, I'm not picking him. Troy Tulowitzki? Pretty good defensively. Good oh. But now I'm not taking Troy Tulowitzki. <laughs> he idolized Jeter, by the way. Good for him. South of the league. Didn't do shit either in Toronto. I'm just saying, I just don't think he's as good as A-Rod. At the plate, he wasn't as good as Nomar. I'm, I'm going to say he's... three shortstops at that time, by the way. Jeter, Nomar, Nomar A-Rod. A-Rod. That Jeter, was, the only reason he started the All-Star game? Because he's in New York. Because he, he was, was not also, offensively better than them. But he was also clutch in the playoffs. Pull that up. He was. Pull That's, that shit up. You have one World Series MVP. When were you clutch? David Eckstein was uh, more clutch than you for a year. How do I pull up if he's clutch? Yeah. Just pull up his playoff set. <laughs> Just pull up, pull up, his, pull up his playoff set. Clutch in playoffs. Pull up playoffs. Yes or no? He, by the way, he's all-time hitter. He's He has the most hits all-time in the postseason. He's also played, I think, most. Bernie Williams led that for a long time. Well, yeah. So, who was also on his team. So, I mean, just going one -on -one at this point. you just uh, like validated my point. All right. He was great in when it mattered. He was good. Regular season, he wasn't MVP, but he was always clutch in the what? Playoffs. Let me ask you something. I was, I was uh, his... hold on. Right. There's one moment. Eddie, shut up. Hold on. <laughs> one moment. All right. For for Derek Jeter. What's your Derek Jeter moment? The his his retiring and he no. his last hit. Nope. It could be the shovel against the A's. Th they were it down two. The, they were two the down home two run. What home run? In the playoffs. Which one? He has multiple. No, that he Money has one. Movie? That was that. I didn't even think about that one. He has one when the clock struck oh, wow, midnight. Point game. The clock struck midnight, and it was November 1st that he became Mr. November. But you just but said that he has series one. doesn't get there if it wasn't for Scott Broach's fucking home run on Halloween night or on, on or the, the of night. Of course. So it doesn't get there. It doesn't get there. How about Aaron Boone's home run? How many home runs does he have? In the playoffs, it doesn't show that here. Dude, oh, he went up. No, he didn't. Jalen Brown is the MVP of this fucking series. Yes. Uh, and now he's the alpha dog. By the way, just letting you know, Michael Brown's absolutely fuming. Of course he in is. The comments, and I asked him to call him, but he's sick. Voices oh, trash. he is. He is sick. Come on, PJ. He's sick of you oh, talking oh, shit about Jeter. Jeter. Of course, that's why I said it. <laughs> he never fucking right. up. He said uh, Jeter hits 308 
with 111 runs scored, 200 hits, 32 doubles, 20 homers, 61 RBIs, and 66 walks. In the, in the playoffs. He also played more games than anyone. They call wow. Him. I just think he's not. I don't think he's an all-timer for me. For me, my opinion. <laughs> you know Matt Michael Brown is. He just texts me. Um, I can't call in, but if you go to Bull and Rafa for me, I'll bet 100 bucks. <laughs> Michael loves Derek Jeter because that was his team during that time, that Jeter time. That's when he was undecided if he was a Dodger or a Yankee fan. So that Jeter hits for him. You know, I just realized what this is. I, I realized what the Rafa Jeter hit is. He went to Miami, and Rafa loves Miami. He ruined the freaking Marlins. Marlins. That's what this is all Ruin. about. Took him to shit. Am I, is that? Why was took, Harry shooting? Yes. That? Took him to shit. Took him right. to shit. Yes. Michael Brown's uh, famous Jeter play is the athletic shovel pass. Yeah, yeah, they were down two series, 2-0 in that series. That was game three to save that. That is it. That's his highlight. So is Reggie Jackson overrated? No. He's all about Mr. October. Had big moments. That's an actual thing. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. You, he just named his incredible stats in the playoffs. It wasn't incredible. He had 308. <laughs> that's a, that's great. Eh. Oh, my I'm just goodness. saying, overall, for me, he's overrated. That's what I'm saying. For me, overall, he's over. I don't think he's the best shortstop of all time. I don't think he's a top 10 player. I don't think he should have got 99% of the votes I, I think, to make the Hall of Fame. I think he's saying people overrate him and so he's saying therefore he's overrated because yes not that yes him. not him as a player himself like if i'm picking a shortstop before him cal ripken jr a rod before him definitely i i, I don't think he's saying, he's saying he sucks as a player I think no he's, he's, a good player. he's comparing him to a rod oh yeah there's no comparison a rod better than him it's an unfair comparison people, people you're right it's unfair for it's better. unfair that's for a rod that's why he's saying that you said Michael Brown said that you're penalizing him for being on the Yankees. Come on, Mike. I'm not penalizing him for being on the Yankees. He was phenomenal. A Rod was just better. A Rod was better. Jeter was better at in October. Fine, wonderful. A Rod was better to get me to October. If Jeter wouldn't have been on the Yankees, he'd be a fucking nobody. He'd be uh, Robin Yount. No, if Robin Jeter Yount was, was great. What great. I, He's a nobody. These guys don't know who Robin Yount is. is oh, dude, Robin Yount was a genius. You don't know who he is. Taft High School. It didn't a, really. It's like a, 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 kind of like a, a Dak with Cowboys kind of thing, but not as good. Neil Rosso. No, Neil Rosso. No, Neil no. Rosso. Is this? Oh no. Went to. What are you say? Is it a Brock Purdy? Yeah. Were you guys I'd be giving Brock Purdy too much praise? No, no, no. It's not a Brock Purdy. I think if Jeter was just on another team, he'd be a a guy who had three thousand hits, who didn't do shit in 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 October because he never got there. That's what it would have been but if he, he would have been on another team. Now, do you agree? A Rod struggled in the postseason. Yes, the pressure that man had. He had the oh. biggest contract on the team. Everyone shit on him. And he got there and he had to play third base. No one has a problem shitting on Clayton Kershaw for struggling. Everyone shits on That's him. That's a pitcher, Ed. We saw Mike Trout go 0 for 9 in the playoffs. We saw Barry Bonds struggle in a playoff or 2 or 3. So we it, saw Griffey so it's not okay do shit. for Derek Jeter to perform well in the playoffs, saw, but A Rod to not perform well in the playoffs. Dude, Derek Jeter's a phenomenal player. Better than A-Rod, October 1st to November 1st. But from April until September 30th, he's not better. Not even close. Not in the spectrum at all. Literally at all. Wow. Not, what do you mean, wow? He had 1,300 RBIs. A-Rod had 2,000. And you know I don't give a fuck about steroids. So... That don't count for me. Yeah, I don't either. I don't either. Bring that shit back, actually. Yeah, yeah, I'm down. Should, I'm so down. On the batter's box, they should freaking just inject them. Yeah, yeah, just inject them before you step in. Before, before you step in, fuck thrust yeah. right to the right to the jugular. Fuck yeah, thrust. Go fucking hit a ball. I'm with it. 